Hello friends, I have this wooden birdhouse from Walmart and the other piece is a piece of wood which is from Dollar Tree and it measures 8 by 2 and a half inches. First, I just painted the two pieces with the burnt umber by Apple Barrel and then uh, I just wipe off uh, totally the excess paint until it dries. I really love burnt umber. Uh, I love the the color, and you can see that it really transformed into a very nice piece. And of course, there's spaces there in between. I just brushed it with the cheap brush just to remove the excess paint there. And then once dry, I uh, sanded it with a sander that I bought from Amazon and. The reason why I do that is because I want the sides to show the natural color of the wood. So the second process, everybody, it really doesn't have, uh, I really don't have to put or rub this uh, tea light candle because I, um, I was kind of satisfied of the outcome after I painted it, lightly painted it with the Waverly Ivory using a cheap brush. It by itself looks so distressed already. So I just did not scrape it. There's no need to scrape it and there's no need to apply the tea light. So if you're going to make a craft like this, no need for the tea light. Tea light candle. And then I will just dry it using the heat tool. And I have this decorative napkin that I bought online. I just remove the ply using a piece of tape. And then I will apply Mod Podge onto this birdhouse. You can see on the video, I am using a fan brush to do that. I am very comfortable using it because it applies so thinly of the Mod Podge. And then once I already covered it with the Mod Podge, I am going to glue the napkin. And I just tap it with my fingers to smooth the napkin, just to, you know, not to have wrinkles. And I am just very careful to do that. I will dry it with a heat tool. And once it is dry, that will be the time for me to just use this nail file uh, just to file the space in between and also sand the sides using the sander from Amazon. So now I just use the torch to burn the napkin on that hole. And then I applied again Mod Podge to just seal the napkin. Just apply very thinly of the Mod Podge. Then I'm going to dry it. And once dry, I will apply this dark antique wax by Bear that I bought from Home Depot. And I am using an eyeshadow brush to do that. It's really very easy to apply it because you can control the thickness and the just if you want to apply very light. So once I'm happy how it turned out, I will use a cheap brush to just lightly brush Waverly ink onto this piece and also the top of which serves as the roof of the birdhouse. I just lightly brush it with the Waverly ink. If you're going to make a craft like this, you can use black chalk paint or any paint of your choice. So you see that it darkened and um, it's really very nice. And again, I sanded just the sides to show again the natural color of the wood. And you can see E6000, I just applied it onto the bottom and so with the hot glue. And now it's time for me to glue this birdhouse onto the wood board. And then now I have these uh, tumbling blocks from Dollar Tree. I will just... Uh, glue it there you know it doesn't have to be perfect in distance or something anyway i just use it to have this birdhouse to stand and to cover it i just 
use the Spanish moss from Walmart. So it's turning out so pretty and I will just trim the Spanish moss and I have these sunflowers, artificial sunflowers. I will just decorate the bottom there. So I have some lives that I showed to you how I made, you know, flowers, artificial flowers, not artificial flowers, but flowers made of, you know, burlap cloth and so with a fabric you can make it. I'm just uh, showing you here how I assemble the piece. And then I have this rug. Actually, I have this from Home Depot or Lowe's. This is a painter's rug. And I already have coffee stain this. If you want me to send you the grunge mix of, you know, what I use for just the staining of my cloth, you can just drop a message on the comment section. I just cut a piece of this and I'm making a just a small sack and I I am going to spell out the word bird seed. So it really depends on you if you're going to make this graph you can put bird feed or bird seed. So I just tied a a jute twine there to look like really a sack and then I put this uh this is optional everybody i just have himalayan salt there that i put inside just to fill the sack but if you have like small stones you can put it there to make it heavy and this time on top of it before i put the bird seed i just put the glue and then i put bird seed so it really is very very nice and very creative and now it's really very cute and it's time for me to make this look distressed by lightly brushing it with the wax so if you don't like distressed look or vintage look just don't use the wax i'm just showing you like i said how to assemble these pieces together and then it really looks so neat i have a small orange um, bird here you know, it really match with a bird design in the on the napkin. Now I'm going to make a very small and a very simple kind of bow. So if you like to see this craft, uh, to see more of my craft ideas, everybody, and you like this craft, please go to my main page. Please click like and please give me a follow so that you will be updated of my future craft ideas. And that is my finished bow. If you like to know where I purchased the bow maker, please drop me a message on the comment section so I will send to you the link. So that is how I made my small bow. Very simple. The plaid cloth match with the bird seed, which is black and a little of cream. So I just put there a piece of button and just make the button look distressed and so with the birdhouse using the dark antique wax by bear and i also did lightly brush the sunflowers artificial sunflowers now this time i am going to paint the back to finish the craft to look so neat and once done that is just a pretty craft so I hope everybody you like this craft you, you can see the sunflowers the this, the napkin, the sack with the bird seed, and the Spanish moss, and the bow, and so with the little bird. And it's so neat on the back. So thank you all so much, everybody, for watching. And I hope you like this craft. Till next time. Thank you.